Everyone who loves board games knows that they are as numerous and diverse as life itself. Games of chance, ingenuity, strategy. Games that can be played alone, with a partner, or in a group. Some invented hundreds of years ago, and others only recently. But when board game enthusiasts are asked to choose an adventurous, fantastic and thrilling game, the life of Ivan Drago comes out on top. Where did the game come from? Was it the brainchild of a great inventor? How it came to be is a great story. And one of the squares at the beginning, the one that shows a ferris wheel, is a good place to start. Come on, Ivan. We'll be able to see the whole town from the top. It was Ivan Drago's 10th birthday. His parents had brought him to the fairground, thinking there could be no finer present for their son. Thank you. Come on, son. Don't be afraid. You know, your old man used to fly real balloons. How about that? Terrific. Say, Joey, keep us spinning, will you? Here come the Dragos! Oh, take that, you rascal! Oh, you did! Oh, my goodness! Nice to meet you! It's embarrassing. Let's try the carousel. I'm too old for the carousel. All right, son. You know what? Let's get you home. Hurry, we might catch the beginning of endless wrestling. Then something happened that would change Ivan's life forever. Are those the prizes? Yes. Hit three apples and you take home this rare old backgammon set. Ivan, you know our family doesn't play games. Oh, come on, just this once. It's a special day. Look. Never mind. Two direct hits gets you dominoes. <laughs> One apple gets you this checkered set. But the stall attendant was unusually generous this day. Hey, don't forget your consolation prize. <clears throat> For Ivan, this was as good as any prize he could have won. Ivan! You're gonna miss the last round! Invent a game and send it today. Ivan, come on! Roll the dice and draw a dream in each square. Each player has one minute to draw his dream. Only one dream can be drawn in each turn. The player who fills in the most squares is the winner. Ivan, wake up. It's late. With every roll of the dice, you have to draw something in the appropriate square. Like an airplane, if they want to travel. Or the moon. Hi. Hi, Mom. Ivan, do you want cheesecake or chocolate? Chocolate. And if they can't think of anything, they don't draw. What are you doing? I'm entering a competition. Ivan, it's an old comic. The competition is probably over by now. Does it have a name? It's called What You Want to Be When You Grow Up. The... Mrs. Drago helped him. Not with the games themselves, Hello, the house. but by hiding Ivan's activities from his father, Hi, as Mr. Drago had a strict no games policy in their home. Remember all this, you know, all this shared an office together when I started at the bank? Well, <clears throat> I ran into him at lunch today. He tells me his son, little oldest, is taking up rugby. He offered to take Ivan around the club next Saturday. That doesn't make sense. A player can't steal other players' dreams. If they do, they lose. Napoleon, ocean liner, Napoleon. Ocean liner. Third on the right. I 
Then wake up. There's a letter for you. Dear Ivan, we are delighted to inform you that your game has placed you amongst the top 10,000 entrants in our competition. In recognition of this achievement, please find enclosed our official company certificate. Should you wish to continue competing for the first prize, you must invent another game, which the company will arrange to be collected from your home. Warmest regards, Morodian, Master Superior of the Profound Games Company. 10,000? This competition could go on forever. Competition that goes on forever. An endless competition. That's it. The endless wrestling game. <laughs> oh, that bone crusher is an animal. These are the good guys, like the Mountie. So you know what you move? The fireman's carry. Frankenstein, choke ball, Steve, ladies' man, Johnson, the hair, killer, man, Jaro, the tongue of death, each of the baddies, bone crush, signature moves, the guillotine, each or two wrestlers on the same square, the they challenge had to park out, penalty, of course, dirty tricks. Knock, knock, Ivan, hey, there you are. Beautiful day for a bike ride. What do you say, son? Hmm? Concerned about Let's Ivan see. spending so much time in his room, his father encouraged him to take up sports. Cycling was not a success. However, the experience inspired Ivan to create Tour de Stars, the game that propelled him into the third leg of the competition. Dear Ivan, congratulations. You are one of our top 100 finalists. This news encouraged Ivan to keep inventing, but he didn't dare tell his father, who still dreamt of his son becoming a great sportsman. These activities were a source of great inspiration for Ivan. Over the following months, he submitted five new games based on the most popular sports, each one more amazing than the last. Dear Ivan, you are now one of the top ten finalists chosen to compete for the grand prize. We await your next invention. For the final round of the competition, Ivan's imagination took flight with the creation of Around the World in 79 Days, no doubt inspired by Mr. Drago's return to his lifelong passion for hot air ballooning. Up here! Ivan! Dearest Ivan, it is my greatest pleasure to inform you that you are the winner of the competition. Congratulations! And the prize, our company's insignia, a symbol of pride to carry with you for the rest of your life. The great game is just beginning. It's one of those tattoos you get with bubble gum. At first, Ivan was so disappointed, he showed no interest in the prize. But by the following day, curiosity had got the best of him. And on the third day, he discovered that the tattoo would not come off. Ivan! What is that boy doing up there? He's indoors all the time, He's reading comics, doing puzzles. There's something I have to tell you. What? I want you to get rid of this tattoo immediately. I can't. It won't come off in any way. It's the only proof that I won a competition. I've more than 10,000 people. Ivan, okay. You... Okay. Maybe we should just try to calm down and ignore the tattoo and forget this ridiculous competition. It's not a ridiculous competition. You don't understand. I won. I'm a game maker. You have no idea what that symbol means. You promised you wouldn't tell him. Ivan, I was worried. I had to tell your father. Just leave me alone. I never want to see you again. 
That night, driven by a sinister premonition, Mr. Drago phoned his father, with whom he hadn't spoken in 10 years. Ivan, wake up. Visit Zoo, the game's capital of the world. See the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. Take a stroll around the famous Dwarf Pieces Center. Lose yourself in the world's most complex natural labyrinth and attend the games workshop hosted by engineer Gabler, three-time winner of the world-renowned Tournament of Inventors. You'll encounter the world-famous Magic Brain, which will answer any question you put to it. Hello, everybody. I'm Nicholas Drago, and it is my great pleasure to invite you on a tour of Zill. All the world's most exciting games are right here, waiting for you. That's my father. Your grandfather. My grandfather? A game maker? Oh, yes. Inventor of such world-famous games as the End of the World Race, Crystal Cathedral, and, of course, the legendary giant jigsaw puzzles. Is he still alive? Yes, he is. Why have you never taken me there? Why have I never met my grandpa? Because, Ivan, 10 years ago, I made the decision to cut all ties to Zeal and the world of games. Why? It's complicated. But just know the only reason I did that was to protect you, Ivan. I did it for you. But now things have changed. Now it's extremely important that the Dragos are reunited. We'll go to Zeal on Sunday, after the balloon race. Ivan was unable to sleep that night. He wrote a beautiful letter to his mother, saying that he was sorry. By daybreak, he was dressed, ready to go with them to the balloon race. Weekend forecast, moderate to strong southeastern winds. We're expecting blue skies throughout the day, mostly clear in the evening, now sleep. Perfect ballooning conditions. He'd even been thinking about a gift for his grandfather. And what could be more appropriate than a new, improved version of his last game, renamed Flight to Zeal. Ivan! As usual, the weather forecast was wrong. Conditions were suitable, the winds were light, which is why no one could understand how the accident happened. What could have caused the Drago's balloon to separate from the others and drift away? In the days that followed, Ivan asked himself over and over again how this could have happened. But there were many challenges to face before he would find the answer to that question. want to come here. The judge decided what's best for you. You should think yourself lucky. That's right, young man. Possum is the best school for miles around. Some very important men went there. What the school? It's sinking. Oh, yes. They say it was built on a swamp. There's plenty of floors. I just make a new entrance whenever the old one gets too low. It happens everywhere. Look at Venice, it's been sinking for years.
Good morning, Mr. Drago. Welcome to Possum. I hope you realize how fortunate you are that the court chose to send you here, to Possum. Since this academic institution opened its doors over a hundred years ago, it has scaled the heights of excellence. But the school's sinking. Ah, oh, you've noticed. It is something of an architectural conundrum. Personally, I believe it is due to the weight of knowledge. <clears throat> now, if we could just complete the formalities. Sign here. And here, and here. Congratulations, Master Drago. You are now officially a possum boarder. Right then, I'm sure you're- I'm not gonna live here. I must go to my grandfather in Zeal. Has anyone told him I'm here? Grandfather? In case you hadn't noticed, Master Drago, you are an orphan. As such, if no one comes to claim you, then you cannot leave this building. Until you're 18, of course, and then you are free to do whatever you like. Frau Bloom, could you come in, please? Frau Bloom will be your personal guardian. She will see to it that you never lack for the warmth of family mm. affection. Frau Bloom, please take Master Drago's case to the dormitory. Professor Katz. It appears one of your pupils doesn't find it necessary to say good morning to his school principal. I would like you all to inform me of his name. Or are you all prepared to pay the price for his disobedience? Eleven chin. I should have guessed. Anyway, I'm here today to introduce you to a new member of the class, Ivan Drago. Master Plunkett, this class is not a music class. Anyway, Master Drago, will serve as a good example for you all that not everyone is fortunate enough to have a family, let alone one with sufficient means to send you to a great institution such as ours. We are happy to welcome for the first time in many years an orphan to possum. Carry on, Professor Katz. Where'd you get that big tattoo? Master Krebs. Talking without permission. That's yet another black mark for you. It was your fault, Trigo. You'll pay for this. Listen, dummy, this version is out of date. Now, come on, everyone. You all know how this works. The more cards you buy, the more chance you have of winning. Now get out of here before I lose my temper. Hey. Next. What are you playing? Compound Fracture. It's the second edition of Ruthless Wrestling. That's weird. This is just like a game I invented called Endless Wrestling. You invented a game? Yeah, right. It was based on the TV show. I wouldn't know. None of us are allowed to watch TV. If you're such an expert, maybe you can give me a hand. I'm getting thrashed here. Sure. Yeah, I know this game inside out. Hang on. 
Where are all the good guys? Look, Frankenstein's signature move is a choke bomb, which beats the bone crushers, guillotine choke, and head to the parking attendants, dirty tricks, so you can't lose. What's a guillotine choke? Okay, look. Bone crusher signature move is the guillotine choke. Like this. But as the Undertaker signature move, the body scissors, like this. And this is crap signature <laughs> move. You said you could draw this. I didn't draw it. It's real. Where did you get it? It, it won in a competition. Did Merodian give it to you? Yes. What did he say? He said he meant Merodian. Like? Wow. Show you any new games. Silence, you idiots! He's a liar. The only one who knows Merodian around here is me. And if I don't have a tattoo, no one has a tattoo, especially a pathetic little worm like you, Draco. Saved by the bell. This time. Remember, Drago, we're the Lofties. We rule this school. Be aware that you will have electricity from sunset until 2100 hours precisely for the sole purpose of reading educational books. As it's your first day, I won't ask you to wash the dishes. Time to go to the dormitory. What about dessert? This institution has never offered dessert to pupils. It may seem a little big at first. But in no time, it will feel just like home. Report to the dining hall at 0700 hours. That's not true. The only boys go to this school. You a ghost. No, silly. I know only boys are meant to go here. That's why I had to make myself invisible. I'm gonna assist you. Principal Possum told me that I was the only boarder. Well, that's what he thinks. I live here too, inside the walls. I know this building better than anyone, even Principal Possum. What do your parents think of all of this? The same thing that happened to you happened to me too. What? Hot air balloon accident? No, not so original. A car accident. When Krebs saw your tattoo in class today, I could see how angry he was. In class? But you weren't in class. Yes, I was. Above the blackboard, behind the painting. I see everything that happens. Well, everything except the blackboard. <sighs> this guy Krebs. How come everyone puts up with him? Up until recently, everyone thought he was a joke. Then Merodian visits Principal Possum, and Krebs suddenly has all these strange games. Merodian came to the school? Did you meet him? I only saw him from a distance. 
they met in secret. From that moment, everything changed. Crab seemed to have all the games the minute they came out. And he was the only one who knew all the secret playing decks. What, what do you like? A little... Drago? Mr. Drago, are you talking in your sleep? Remember, Mr. Drago, silence is one of Possum's hallmarks. Do you want to hear more about Krebs? I prefer it if you told me how to escape from here. Escape? You're really leaving so soon? We just got here. I need to meet my grandfather. He's a world famous game maker. He lives in Zoom. The contest I won, my parents' accident. My grandfather's the only one who can help me find out. How are you gonna get there? Next Friday's a holiday. I'll just say I have to go home for books and clothes. One week. You have been here less than one week, and now everyone plays games, but in a very different manner. Listen. You, Drago, are nothing short of a noxious plague upon our educational institution. A plague? Yes, Drago. A plague. You're going to be grounded permanently. That's not fair. You can't do that. From now on, all days off are suspended. No weekends, no holidays, not even public holidays. Frau Bloom? Professor Katz? May I go to the bathroom? Few days. What does it have to do with me? He tried to give himself a tattoo and now he's in hospital with a nasty infection. This is my room. I was really lucky to find such a good place to study. Our classroom is just behind that wall. Here, I wanted to show you something. I saw Principal Possum opening this. And I also found all these. He spent all last night trying to do this jigsaw puzzle. By morning, he'd thrown it out. What is he doing now? There's a message. Channel Ivan. Now he's going through your desk. Get back 
right now, the punishment will be worse. Worse? Ugh, keep an eye on him. I'm almost done. Channel 3 at midnight. TV in the whole school. Old Possum doesn't believe in television. <clears throat> except when he's watching it. Wait. <clears throat> what time is it? It's almost midnight. Lost of dice making. Remember that. Now the loss is five years. made of is very important. For example, cardboard is highly unacceptable. Rubber is also not acceptable. <laughs> this will be all for today. See you next class. Tomorrow, at the same time on Telezil, make your own game with Professor Tremonte. That concludes our broadcast day. Good night. We'd better return this. This is an important message for Ivan Draco. Uh, Ivan, I hope you're seeing this. I'm Nicholas, your grandfather. I've been trying to find you ever since I heard of your parents' tragic accident. I went to that fortress of a school you go to, and they turned me away. Uh, Ivan, you are the youngest in the long line of Drago's, the most famous games makers in the world. I'll be broadcasting this message every night. And, and I hope that fate brings you safe and sound to Zil soon. I do have a grandfather. He's waiting for me and Zeal. I'll escape from this horrible school. That won't be easy, Ivan. What if I manage to close it down? How are you going to do that? Take me to the library. It's two floors down. Nobody ever goes down there. They think it's haunted. As each floor sinks, they close it. This one was abandoned 10 years ago. Really? They say the last boarder who tried to escape got chained to the post in the library. When it sunk, he drowned. And after all these years, he's still trying to come up for air. And when he does, you'll hear a splash. Actually, you know what? Maybe there's no point in going down there. The damp will have destroyed all the books, and we won't be able to find anything in the dark. Ivan. Look. What do you think we should be looking for? The school's mystery. A building secret? There's got to be a structural weakness that's making the building sink. It just needs to sink a few feet in one day, and they'll close down the school. But it's only been sinking one floor every 20 years. Maybe we can speed up the process. Or 
were you saying? Don't worry. They're only stories. Look at this. What you are about to take part in is not just any game. It is one of the oldest games in history. A treasure hunt. It is... Ivan, over here. What are you doing here? I thought we agreed to meet at the railway station. I had to make Froblum secure. Why haven't you started the game yet? Ivan, I need to get as many players as possible or else it won't work. There's only one train a week to Zealand that leaves in an hour. Don't waste any more time. Now, is everyone ready? Yes! Yes. Okay, here are the clues. A man of marble proudly waits. Within his hands, he holds your fate. His memory long, but his sight is short. And tucked in his glasses, You'll find on, what go. you sought. Another clue. To the principal's office. Into their names, the butterflies sleep, spiders don't weave, and locusts don't leave. I know it's going to These are the things he pretends he owns as he hears the rattle I got it. of his yellowing bones. Yes. You didn't get it? So what do we do now? Just follow the others. No, no, no. Going somewhere, Drago? Bleach, acids, abrasive cleaning pads, and sandpaper. <laughs>
glory and pomp as slowly the school sinks into the swamp. that drastic would happen. It, it was only meant to sink a few feet. All aboard! Where will you live now? Back with my Aunt Elena. I ran away and now it's time I went home. Thank you. Goodbye, Anunciacion. Someday? Of course, I'll pop when you least expect it. Tickets, please. You're getting off at Zill? Yes. Why? Normally, people only get on the train at Zill. Tickets! Tickets, please! Like drawing. Well, just to sketch my ideas. Inventions. <laughs> you know, I keep finding lost property in the carriages. Look at this. I saw an ad for for good illustration courses in this old comic book. Zill's our next stop. Don't fall asleep.
What if he doesn't see anyone and come back on the train? Well, obviously that would be your fault. Uh, my fault? Ivan? Sorry we weren't here to meet you. Your grandfather had us waiting. I'm Knight. I'm Bishop. They call us... The, the checkmates. checkmates. Uh, Ivan Drago. Hey. <laughs> What's that? What? I won in a competition. You know what that means in Zil? That's the logo of the Prong Games Company. What's it got to do with Zil? Come on, your grandfather will explain. Where's my grandfather? He sent us to meet every train, so there was someone to welcome you. He hoped you got his message. Oh, that's Zil TV station. That's the museum. It's the first place people visit when they come to Zill. Except nobody comes to Zill. The mayor had these made a few years ago. The mayor? Is in your dad? Yeah, okay, my dad. The thing is, he puts them there so that the train patchers won't see how deserted the place has got. Checkmates. It's a magic brain. I, I saw it in the film about Zeal. Yes, it's the original. But it's closed down. Why? Your grandfather will explain. Nicholas? Nicholas? Ivan? It's you? Ah, oh, you solved the puzzle I sent you. Oh, well done! Oh! <laughs> Excuse my coffee. It's the blasted fans I have to keep on. Thank you, checkmates. I'm leaving the keys to the truck over here, Mr. Drago. Uh, oh, by the way, Ivan, if you like fishing, we go to River Rubik every day. Uh, you should come. Uh, Bye. Come on, let's get you settled in. Come on, come on. My grandson. A little, uh, out of fashion, don't you think? <laughs> Your father and his friends. He didn't really talk much about growing up in Zoo. Your father grew up with a different approach to life. I never thought I'd have a son who did not share my love of games. Grandpa, I want you to read this. No one ever knew where they ended up on that race. No one told us that they had found their bodies. And then I found that. Uh, this, this is a comic book, Ivan. I know it's not fair, but we have to learn to accept our losses, no matter how incomprehensible they may seem. Javier Ballooning. Oh, my goodness. Listen, we have each other now. You must be hungry after your journey. 
I'll fix us some dinner. So, young Ivan, tell me about your interest in games. Well, I invented some games for a competition mm -hmm. that had over 10,000 contestants. Mm -hmm. And I ended up winning. Mm. This was the first prize. Um, it, it was sent to me by Mr. Merodian. Have you heard of him? Your father loves spaghetti. Mm. Do you know Merodian? Ivan, you are now with me here. Brazil is the world capital for games invention. Hmm. Grandpa, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I just, I couldn't help noticing the town. It seems a bit quiet. Well, that's true. We have seen better times. But those of us who have stayed in Zil feel that the glory days will return to us here. After all, it only takes one game to change everything. Hmm? Dessert? Coming right up. Now, are you working on anything new? Well, um, I am working on something new. It's kind of like a spinning top. One side makes a player invisible to his opponents. The way it works at the moment, players don't have an equal chance of winning. You can't let them hold you back. You play a lot of board games with mismatched sides. Do you know any of the famous hunting games? You know, Komika. No. But your grandmother won the world championship for five consecutive years. To be honest, I've never actually played a board game against anyone else. Oh, my God. At home, my oh, parents... Oh, well, we can't have that. Follow me. Some people call it Inca chess, but others know it as the puma and the dogs. But if you're the puma, it's one against 12? Correct. As with all hunting games, the sides are mismatched. But if he's smart, the Puma can still win the game. You must always have a strategy. Use short, rapid strokes, and he takes by leaping. Come sa, come sa. Create spaces for yourself, and you eliminate dogs one by one. And come again. Shall we play a game? What do you want, Puma or dogs? The Puma. No! All right, all right, all right. Go on. The first key to victory is never giving up hope. No matter how many opponents, even when the odds are stacked against you. And Comic-Con. How were you able to beat me so quickly? A game like Comecan requires skill, not luck. Rematch. Grandpa, I think this competition is somehow linked to my parents. The second key to success is concentration. What's up with you, Ivan? You haven't said a word all day. I'm trying to figure everything out. I've never met Merodian, but she's everywhere. I thought my grandpa could give me answers about what happened to my parents. She just won't talk about it. I think the explanation is the one my father always gives. Everything bad is Merodian's fault. I have to see the magic brain. It's the only way to get an answer in Zill. I told you. It's temporarily closed. Temporarily closed? But I've never seen it open. Look, my father promised me they would open it again. Yeah, well, your father promises a lot of stuff. 
You promised to prune the old labyrinth, and now it's scarier than before. If someone goes in, they never come out. And what about Zill TV broadcasting in color? If he didn't manage any of that, there's a fat chance of him reopening the magic Shut plane. your mouth, Knight. There is a chance. For the record, this is the first time I've ever stolen anything from my father. Ivan, do you want us to leave? Are you crazy? This is the first question in 20 years. I'm not gonna miss it. Magic Brain, can you explain the link between this, Marodian, and what happened to my parents during that balloon race? I think you should ask simpler questions, you know? Yes or no answers. Okay. Are my parents alive? What is it? Yes or no? It's a yes. No. It's a yes. Stop. You're wasting your time. Only a game, but no more than that. Life's great decisions cannot be left to a machine. So what about this? To understand, we must know the past. To comprehend the past, we must go to the museum. I'm calling the police. Oh, do calm down, Zelmar. It's only me, Nicholas. It's after midnight. So you must be Ivan. My name is Zelmar Kenobius. I am the curator of this museum, and I'm also the security guard. This puzzle was made by your great grandfather, Blaze Drago. Here we have the Rubik River which marks the southern boundary of the city. Up to the north, the abandoned labyrinth. There is the magic brain. And here is the museum. And the missing piece? I'll leave that one to Nicholas. It was Morodian. That piece had a picture of his house on it. When he stole it, it was as if he'd taken the soul of the city. What use is a jigsaw puzzle with a missing piece? Morodian lived in Zeal? Morodian's parents own a missing chess pieces store. His mother ran off with a traveling salesman. His father, poor soul, decided one night to go looking for her through the labyrinth. That night, Morodian became an orphan. So I took him in. You raised Morodian? 
your father and Moroni and Rome was the same age. They grew up together. Your father never shared our passion for games. A Merodian, he became my apprentice. But as years went by, something seemed to sour within him. His games became darker, more sinister. He said that they were from his deepest nightmares. Soon thereafter, he submitted his entry into the Young Inventors Tournament. His entry was called the Labyrinth of Death, based on his father's terrible demise. Zill was not ready to accept someone so different, so Marodian, at the age of 20, was banished from the town. He, he blamed me. Was it your decision? No one was willing to take responsibility. So we finally decided to take it to the magic brain. The brain replied yes. Morodian felt that I had betrayed him, and he left that same night, committing one last act of defiance. He left a letter. He attacked me for abandoning him to the whim of an old machine and said he wished I had never taken him in. He finished the letter with a terrible curse. The dynasty of Drago inventors will end with you, Nicholas. Your father left town shortly after to begin his life. And you never heard from him again? Not until his call informing me of your existence. But now I realize it was his choice to keep you a secret. But Marodin got what he wanted and was able to find me. But no, 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 he, he actually didn't get what he wanted. You want to be a games maker, a great inventor? You're living here with your grandpa in, in the right place. For, forget Merodian. I can't ignore Merodian. He's been making me play this game without explaining the rules, and, and I think he's the only one who knows what happened to my parents. Sorry, Grandpa. But don't you understand? That's exactly what he wants. Please, Ivan, don't make me lose you as well. I have to find out what happened to my parents. And the only way to do that is to face Merodian. No, Ivan. Don't, Ivan, please! It's a trap! Don't do this! No more! Successor, confidence and concentration.
Company. Company, this is Mobile One. Over. This is Company. Go ahead with your report. Over. Taking passenger. Repeat. The passenger to the company. Over. Sir? Sir? Could you please tell Marodian that... Company headquarters, Terminus. I see Merodian. Name? Evan Draco. Take the elevator to the top floor. Ivan Drago is entering the Profound Games Company. Oh, you're here. Sorry, I was supposed to meet you at the door. I'm Ivan. I'm Ivan. I know, I know. I'm not really Ivan. I'm a professional Ivan. Fake Ivan? No, no, not fake. Professional. This is my job. You know, I had a feeling you'd be arriving any day because they didn't seem to bother with me anymore and I began to suspect they were going to replace me with a real thing. Want to see Merodian now? Merodian? I don't think you will be able to see him now. He's probably still dreaming. No, 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 no! We have to wait, because when the red line is on, it means Mr. Perfundus is streaming. Interrupting him will be unforgivable. What are those? Palm monitors. Mr. Perfundus is bodyguards. They have 360 degree control. Brilliant, isn't it? Who's that? A dream scribe. Dreamscribes are responsible for noting and interpreting Mr. Befandis' words, based on what he says during his dreams when the new games are created. Mr. Profundus? Yes, that's how Morodian wishes to be addressed. Anyway, as I was saying, at the beginning they were obsessed with my acting. Watch, your tenth birthday. And how about this? Organizing the treasure hunt. <clears throat> this is not just any game. This is one of the oldest games in history. How do I sound? I've got a five-year contract to play on all the shows. Five years. Shows? Yeah, the life of Ivan Drago. It's by far the best attraction in the whole of Profound Park. This one is Ramos, the chief scribe. Mr. Profundus, the real Ivan has arrived. Real Ivan. 
welcome. Ivan. You must be very happy. Happy? Why would I be happy? Excited. Grateful. Overwhelmed. No. Why should I be? Why? <laughs> Why? Because you were in the true mecca of games invention. It wasn't easy getting you here. In fact, it took years. I had to intervene repeatedly in your life. Intervene? What gave you the right to do that? I want to know the truth about my parents' accident. I must confess, I'm rather surprised to find you so ungrateful, especially considering the fact that Profound Park's main attraction will be a game bearing your name. Only a few more days now. Hours. The big opening is nearly upon us. Oh, but where are my manners? We need to get him settled in. We need to get you settled in. Come, let me show you the factory. The engineer's room, where my ideas are transformed into games. Come and meet Lazarus, one of our chief engineers. I Just don't bother talking to him, he's deaf. Lost his hearing working on a dynamite game. Dynamite game's about to go on sale to the general public. Sure to be a big hit. An explosive success. But once you've detonated yes, it... Yes, you have to buy another. You learn fast. Oh, poor thing. Can't keep them away. Yes, here at the company, we consider work and leisure to be rather old-fashioned <laughs> concepts. Death Trap? I know this game. They used to play it at Possum. I never really got it. As far as I could see, the player who has more cards always had an advantage. Correct. The player who has purchased the greater number of cards oh, has a greater chance of winning, yes. I find traditional games give children such an unrealistic idea of life. We call opportunity, level playing ground, all those ridiculous myths. This game teaches children the truth. Those with the greater means at their disposal have a greater chance of success. Now, the company's best-selling games are the ones that spring directly from my dreams. They belong to the Nightmare series. Nightmare? My grandpa said that when you were in zeal... Silence! Company rule number one, it's forbidden to utter the name of that place. <laughs> oh, this is rather interesting. Now, anything that's no longer of use to us is sent into the game's garbage, and there's so much of it. You see, all of our games are designed to be obsolete within six months of purchase. It means the customer always has something new to look forward to. Do people work down there? Like I said, anything that's no longer of use to us is sent down there. Garbage men don't usually last that long, but Gabler, well, he's survived for quite some time. Who? Gabler, exceptional engineer, but his heart just wasn't in the job. I had to find a new role for him in the company. Possum? Principal Possum? What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Hurry along now. Your induction starts in two minutes. It will be a true inspiration to my workers, seeing the last hope of that decadent city installed here at the Profound Games Company. Your arrival will guarantee that Ivan Drago's life becomes the park's greatest attraction. And it will also prove that life is indeed a game. Ivan's childhood spent with his doting parents until their unfortunate hot air balloon accident. Next, Ivan's brief sojourn at Possum and the dramatic sinking of the school. And then came Ivan to the capital of decay. But we would never leave our customers without a grand finale. And so Ivan Drago, like so many others before him, joining the Profound Games Company. Listen, Merodian, Mr. Profundus, whatever you want to call yourself, 
My life isn't a game. That balloon out there, it's not a toy. My parents were on board, and I want to know what you've done with them. It's late, and you've had a long journey. I tell you what, go to bed, get some rest. Tomorrow, you'll start working for the company. No, I don't want to sleep. I want the truth. <laughs> Ivan needs to rest. He must sleep. So tomorrow, he can begin his new life in our great company. Excellent replica, don't you think? Really quite remarkable. Well, come on. Up you get, Ivan. Give me your hand. Oh, there we go. It's time to see where you'll be working. Come. I'm very excited for you to see your office, Ivan. Where people will watch you working, inventing games, signing autographs. Oh, strictly one per person, of course. Here we are. Well, jump down, have a look. Tell me what you think. I don't like it. Really? You don't think seeing Nicholas Drago's grandson working for me is an amazing ending? Come on. Maybe for you. Not for me. And for the visitors. I don't think so. Oh, well, you may have a point. Perhaps I need to look deeper into my dreams to find the perfect ending to Ivan Drago's life. Don't I have a say? Well, we could work together. Two great inventors joining forces to create the ultimate game. Yes, I dream. You write. It's been decided. Ramus will show you what to do. Forget it. I'll never be your dream scribe. I'm going back to Zeal as soon as you tell me all you know about my parents' accident. And give back that puzzle piece you stole. Have it your way, Ivan. You're free to leave whenever you want. But there is one last thing you really should see before you go. Who knows, it might just help you change your mind. You know something, Ivan? You and I, we possess a gift that these fools could only dream of. The ability to create amazing games. Nothing like you, Merodian. For you, games are dark and brutal. But of course they are. Did granddaddy teach you nothing? You're young. In time, you'll understand. Life is the most brutal game of all. And when the time comes to crush your opponent, Ivan, you must show no mercy. The winner takes all. Sorry, but you're wrong, Rodian. I'll never join you. Really? I, I can't tempt you? You must be hungry. You haven't had any breakfast. Oh, very well. Mm. 
Just like Mama used to make. Hmm. Oh, by the way, behind you, this is going to be a really big draw. We've just got a few teething problems. Fred! Fred, you idiot! I said above the water, not in the water. There, drag on. Not the sharpest tool in the box, your classmate, but very loyal. And here we are. A little girl with an extraordinary talent. She can camouflage herself against any background. Yes, yes, yes. Or thing. You know, the three of us have much in common. Well, I'm glad to see you're resigned to stay. That's settled then. You'll be my dream scribe tonight. My chamber. 3 a.m. Don't be late. <gasps> If you put a watch close to his ear, he dreams of his father. The sound of a silver spoon in a glass of water. And he dreams of ships. You must write down every single word that Mr. Profundus utters. Take this. His most Vivid dreams occur during the hours before dawn. You will meet me at 3 a.m. Do not be late. It's a very good have an autograph. Mr. Drago! Hey! Mr. Drago! Can I just say what an honor it is to have been chosen to play you? An honor? Look! This is what they gave me when I was hired. Ivan Drago is resourceful, brave, and determined. Nothing. Nothing? You're a legend. Come on, take a look. Brave and determined? <laughs> That's a joke. But of course you are. You won a competition that lasted more than a year. You sunk a school. I could never have done those things. You, Ivan, you're a hero. You know, I was thinking, shouldn't we be preparing for when the park opens? Oh, yes. I'm a bag of nerves just thinking about it. Which is why I want to help you rehearse. Don't open the door to anyone until I get back. Mr. Gabler? 
the gambler? What are you doing here? I came to ask about my parents. You won't find them in the garbage. But if you're asking if Morodian was responsible for the balloon accident, the only person who can answer that is Morodian himself. If you're trapped down here, how do you know about the balloon and my parents? Mm. There's something you should see. This room is dedicated to your life. Why? When he discovered who you were and was able to see your talent, well, he put all his energy and resources into fulfilling his curse. The same was to separate you from your family and luring you here will be the final nail in Zell's coffin. A double victory. kidnapped my friend Nunciacion. He showed me her theater. Have you seen her? Could be a trap. Be careful. I don't have much time. How do we get back up top? With a little hope from our old friend, Victor Jade. This were all printed to bring you into the company. Now, perhaps, they'll help you get out of here. If you know the way out, well, why don't you go up top? If I ever leave here, it'll be to go back to Zill. Dorella, we have to get Sharkgate ready. Yes, sir. How did you find me? Rodian showed me your theater. He's a monster. I'm sure he had something to do with my parents' accident. I'm hoping they're here. 
I haven't heard anything since they kidnapped me two days ago. Morgan's been making me rehearse day and night. I have to go. He wants me to be his dream scribe, but I'll come back for you. I promise. Don't come back here. It's too dangerous. Let's meet in my theater. Pam owners will come take me to her soon, but don't worry about it. Considering they have three brains, they're pretty stupid. <laughs> Making myself invisible is kind of my specialty. We'll find a way out of here. You're late. Be careful not to wake him. You wouldn't want to suffer the wrath of Mr. Profundus. Yes, Father. Yes, Father, I'm coming. I'm coming. Where are my... No more questions. I'm tired. So tired. Where are Ivan Drago's parents? What parents? Ivan Drago's an orphan. What did you want? To keep them away. So I have my join the company with the wind, the wind. Took them to the mountains within seconds. They're frozen solid. Frozen and solid. I sent an expedition in search of them. All they brought back was a bag. Profundus, is everything all right? Where's the boy? He has to make the alarm. Yes, sir. Make a note. Loyalty test. Fail. Tell the pen monitors to fetch Mr. and Mrs. Drago. Taken by the pen monitors. Smell those cakes. My mother was just here. I'm sure. I know that smell anywhere. It's still hot. They must have just taken them. My parents. Have you seen them? Oh, you mean that was a real Mr. Mrs. Drago? Amazing! Where were they taking them? Oh, this tunnel leads to the shark bait tank. Oh no! <gasps> Crabs! Who, who are you? Why are you following us? He's a fake guy! Not fake! Run. Professional! Ivan! No! Hang 
down, honey. It's okay. It's okay. No! Please! Stop! Someone help us! Drago. Now let's see if your parents can swim. Because so by your own side. Oh, those are words. Up, up, put it up. Oh, that was the other one. Mom, Ivan, Dad. What the? Uh, Ivan, are you okay? Careful! Keep the cage swinging! Are you sure, Ivan? Don't worry, Dad. I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> yes! Well done, Ivan. <laughs> yes! Ramos. Sir? We missed you so much. And this is Anunciacion, my invisible friend. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Come on, yeah. we've got to get out of here fast. The balloon. The balloon. Yeah. Thank you for everything, Ivan. Okay, look, I'm not, I, I don't know who you are, but thank you. Let's go. It, it was nothing, Dad. Send every pan monitor to the balloon, now. Come on, Come on, hurry. Another rope, Ivan. Okay, this one's cut. Get the rope. Hang on, on everybody. Go. Honey, get the ballast. We're ready for takeoff. The igniting burners. Honey. Ivan. Ivan, come back here. Ivan. Ivan. Son. Ivan, look out. Run, Ivan. No. Ivan, look out. Ivan, come back here. So, I create all this in your honor, and you repay me with betrayal. I dream up the perfect ending, and you refuse to play along. And look at you now, Ivan, back where our game began. You're surrounded, you cannot win. Never giving up hope, even when faced with many opponents. Say goodbye to your parents, Ivan. I've no use for them now. And I'm afraid you and the jigsaw piece are staying here. Oh no, Ivan. Ivan. Don't be ridiculous. We know your life story here. Everyone knows you're a hopeless shot. Mom, Dad, duck! Bravo. This is the end of your curse on my family, Merodian. But it's just a tiny piece of cardboard. What matters is the last of the Dragos remains here with me. That's the fulfillment of my curse. Come on, no, as of today, curse is lifted. Oh, please, you've never played a game in your entire life. I wouldn't trust you to move a single playing piece. Maybe not, but I can move in real life. Oh. 
Oh, you have my sympathies, Ivan. <laughs> Not even a word goodbye. Oh, well, here you are, alone, abandoned, orphaned for a second time. Just like me. Take him down to his office. Back to work. Nothing has happened here. Ivan! Don't let the balloon advance. Don't let the balloon advance. Yeah! You idiot! Stop the balloon! Jump. Stop the balloon! Yeah. Stop it! I won't let you get away with this, Ivan. Ivan! 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 You got it, son. You got it. Ivan! Take my hand. All this could have been yours, boy. You got it. Run at a time. Ivan! You can do it. You think you can beat me? Huh? All this was yours, Ivan! Oh, yes! Those of you who have played the game, The Life of Ivan Drago, will know that it is not made by the Profound Games Company. And that it ends with Ivan's triumphant return to Zeal. Here come the Drago! Celebrated in one of the most beautiful drawings on the board. But it says nothing about how he returned the stolen beast. Now that the jigsaw puzzle was complete, the tattoo on Ivan's hand was no longer a reminder of what was missing, but a symbol of what had been achieved. And we'll never know if it was thanks to the return of the jigsaw piece, or because of the enormous success of the game The Life of Ivan Drago, and other games, of course. What is certain, is that Zeal regained its prosperity and became the city it once was. But the game only tells one part of the story. While the fanatics carry on playing beyond the last square, the purists say that the real game is not the one with the illustrated board, but rather the first game that Ivan devised for the contest. The empty page that the players complete with drawings of their own dreams. They say the true game of life is that blank page. Let's roll the dice again. <laughs>